Good morning everyone and welcome to day two of our Banff adventure. We are headed to the Banff gondola right now. We have an appointment for 10.30 this morning. It's gonna be a ton of fun. We're really excited. I think the biggest challenge of booking this trip was trying to decide if it was going to be hot weather or cold weather. Mm -hmm. So we've got sweatshirts on. We did bring some raincoats. I'm not sure if we're going to pack them up to the mountain with us or not because it looks sunny right now. But last night we had impressive thunder showers and lightning. So I think the weather looks good. I'm excited. It's gorgeous, sunny. Yeah, it's sunny right now. So we're excited to head up the mountain. It's a beautiful day here in Banff. So check it out. So it's a beautiful drive up to the Banff gondola. It's about five kilometers. It should take you about 10 minutes along this beautiful scenic drive. Once you arrive, there is a lower parking lot as well as an upper parking lot that is free of charge to park in. Now we've been told that the parking lot does fill up, especially in the afternoon, but there is bus services and shuttles that run up here. Yeah, you can see we're gonna be going way up the mountain there. You can see the gondolas going up and down here. Now, if you are coming here, you can buy tickets when you get here, but to ensure you have a spot, it's probably better to purchase them online. We will put a link below in the description. You can check that out for yourself. Let's go inside. You can see through those doors straight ahead there, that's where you would go to get on the gondola once you have your tickets. And there's a full service Starbucks here as well. And check it out, they do have the Banff mugs. Now taking a quick peek into the store, you can see they have sweatshirts and the typical souvenirs that you can collect. And what I'm impressed about is there's a free water filling station right there. You can grab your mugs, you can grab Ha, ah, Rocky Mountain mugs, cool. You can grab crazy Canuck pins if you're a pin collector. Maybe you wanna cover your Volkswagen van with stickers, you can do that from here as well. And of course, Canadian maple syrup. You can see the prices there. All right, so there's a full Starbucks here at the Banff Gondola. It's the highest Starbucks in Canada, over 5,000 feet high. So. We're quite high up here, but the prices are a fair bit higher than down in the city. Um, so a black coffee, two black coffees, these are Grandes in Vente Cups, was over $7 for two of them. So it's a fair bit more pricey than in town for your coffee here. The Starbucks mugs, they do have them here. They're $18.95. So um, again, those are more expensive up here than in the village as well, but they said they don't have any in the village. So um, if we're gonna grab one, we'll have to grab it here. We'll probably grab it on our way down from the gondola, but just keep that in mind if you're up here, this Starbucks is more expensive than the one in town. I think this is pretty close to perfection. The sun is out. I have my Starbucks coffee. I'm with the love of my life and we're in the sunshine. <laughs> Thank you. people do you think fit in here? Maybe four or five? Four. Four? I think there was uh, spots for four. Four. It's a lot smaller than the ones I've seen like at Big White in Kelowna or the ones you stand in mm -hmm. with your ski equipment. This is definitely one that you would sit down in. There's open windows too. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> Just don't drop the camera. <laughs> yeah. Here we go.
is awesome, but it is actually a little bit warm in here. The windows are open. It's not like crazy hot, just a little warmer, but we dress for like little cooler temps. So it's always a little uh, stuffy. <laughs> <laughs> not sweaty, just stuffy. <laughs> well, we just drank hot coffee. Yeah. So once you get to the top of the gondola, there's an observation deck. There's also some other cool things here, like the above Banff Interpretive Center, where you can learn about the Alpine ecosystem, as well as the history of Banff. You can also go and learn to tie some knots, which is fun for all of us to do, and go stamp your Explorer Field Journal. You know, even if you came up here and the weather was bad, there is a lot to see and do up here. Yeah, no, that's for sure. Let's check out some of the views out on the observation deck. You can see right there, that's where the gondola comes up. And there's views all the way to Banff. You can see the Bow River, the golf course down there, and the sulfur boardwalk here that takes you up to the top of Sulfur Mountain there. We're gonna go check that out in just a little bit. This is spectacular up here at the Banff Gondola. It's so high up. There's magnificent 360 degree views up here. If you're in Banff, make sure to come check this out. It's awesome up here. I'm totally loving it. I could spend all day up here. There's beautiful little restaurants and bistros and shopping and yeah. walking and oh, it's just spectacular. You're not gonna wanna go home. They do have a couple of restaurants up here as well as they have another gift shop up here as well. So um, you can grab all your gifts while you're up here, the maple syrup, everything like that. You can grab it up here as well. So it looks like there's kind of a boardwalk trail right there that takes you to the top of that peak all the way up there. I think we're gonna go do that right now. So we need to go down a few flights of stairs down there and we'll head on all the way up there. So let's walk the Sulphur Mountain Boardwalk. This place is gorgeous. There's lots of information here and signage that you can read and learn all about Sulphur Mountain and Banff and it's a great photo stop. So if you want less people at the very top of the building, it was a lot quieter for taking pictures when we got down to like the main level, a lot of people taking pictures there. So go up to the very top to get the good photos and a lot quieter. There are lots of stairs here, so if you're coming with children, don't plan on using a stroller on the boardwalk. A lot of steps, and it's getting hot up here, so I took off my hoodie. I have something to say that's really good, though. There's no bugs. At least today. There's no mosquitoes, there's no flies. As one flies by here, but <laughs> for the most part, there's not really any bugs up here compared to Moraine Lake yesterday, so that's good news. The Sulphur Mountain Boardwalk sits at about 7,500 feet above sea level. And at the very end of it, you will see the Meteorological Observatory that was built in 1903, as well as the Sulphur Mountain Cosmic Ray Station from 1956. That's a mouthful. You can see the Trans-Canada Highway, Mount Norquay, Downtown Banff, the Bow River, as well as the golf course from up here. And you can see that building here on the right hand side. You can't go inside, but it is up here. You can also check out the binoculars for a mere $2. So it's about a 15 minute walk to the top and 15 minutes back to the gondola here on the boardwalk. So maybe budget about 45 minutes to do kind of the round trip. Um, there's a lot of stairs, so you might wanna take some breaks, bring a beverage up there. It's nice and beautiful with great views. We made it back to the gondola summit and lo and behold, there is a big horn sheep right beside the building. Wow, that's cool. We're gonna head on back down to the parking lot. It's easy to just jump back on the gondola and head all the way down there and we need to grab our Starbucks mug. 
We got our Starbucks mug. That was a ton of fun here at the Banff Gondola. We're gonna head on into town and see what else we can find to do. So we're walking into Banff here. We're gonna go check out downtown Banff city, village, town, whatever it's called. And we'll see what's down there. It looks pretty exciting and lots of stores, shops, and different things to look at. Do you want to go to Chili's for dinner, Andrea? Yes, but I have something to say. What you may not know is Ken is a huge Office fan, so to get to go to Chili's like Michael Scott. Well, we don't have Chili's in BC, so this is the closest Chili's to our house. There's one here, and I know there's one in the Calgary airport as well. Otherwise, we have to go all the way to Idaho to get to Chili's. Well, this is a cool photo stop. There is a moose on the loose. Make sure you stop here to grab a photo with Mr. Moose. So regarding the free shuttle to the gondola, here's some information on it. They do pick up downtown and they also pick up at the Banff train station. Now keep in mind if you're parking in town, it is pay parking, but just a few blocks down at the train station, it is free there. So that's a good little tip to know. Now, we went to the old spaghetti factory last night. It is located in the Cascade Shops shopping mall. So there is pay parking in that mall. But if you go in there, you'll find the old spaghetti factory. They do have a food court downstairs, as well as a pharmacy and a few other shops in here. So if you do want to do some shopping mall shopping, that is available here as well. Across the street, you will find the BAMP vis Visitor Center. So if you need to stop in there, they will have a ton of information for you if you are visiting BAMP. And of course, having Swedish heritage, we're gonna make a stop in Fjallraven. Now we know that our daughter's on the hunt for a new backpack, so we're gonna take a little look. They have so many colors to choose from, and they're known for their high quality. I think it would be a fun way to start the school year. Also, who doesn't need some chocolate? Wow, they've got some amazing looking chocolate in here. Check these out, all the fudge, the brittle. Mmm, looks tempting, really, really tempting. And if you haven't seen Cow's ice cream before, they always have a lineup. You might have seen it last year in our Whistler vlog series. If you head on in there, you get amazing ice cream. As well as they've got some really cool t-shirts in here. You can buy a Moo Tube t-shirt or even a Dunder Mufflin t-shirt if you're an Office fan like myself. Who doesn't love a good candy store? Adults, kids, everybody, right? They have lots of candies in here from all around the world and the staff were very helpful in answering all our candy questions. I'm always on the hunt for Swedish Bilar candy, candy and unfortunately they did not have it in the candy store. It's really hard to find here in Canada. It got hot out. There was a fly. <laughs> it got hot out and there was a fly. <laughs> it's okay. McDonald's, two dollars right now. Summer drink days. Super refreshing. McDonald's is right over there. Couldn't resist. It's hot. There are lots of cool souvenir shops here. One of my favorites is Cool as a Moose, where you can get some great deals on clothing. Two t-shirts for $25. Moose Vader, Cool as a Moose. You can get your tie-dye here, starting at 20 bucks, or some more traditional styles of t-shirts. So I would like to head into the iconic Hudson Bay store. Here you can find the traditional Hudson Bay blanket and lots of Canadian Olympic clothing and gear. <laughs> yeah, this is a low ceiling. Okay, I have to duck. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna crawl around in the basement here. I will hit my head on all of these things. Okay. But they actually had, they have Canadian type stuff on clearance here that nobody would know about. We gotta come to the corner. So you have to crawl through the crawl space. Oh. Bring 
example, this Canada hoodie is on clearance for $19.99 and it's an additional 20% off today. And it's the Olympic apparel. Which is a great deal, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have to go upstairs because I'm going to get a sore back. Yep, I want to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you missing something? My sunglasses? I won't that's forget. A, that's a good place to forget them. I won't forget. <laughs> so if you want some good deals, go crawl around the Hudson Bay <laughs> crawl space. Andrea got her hoodie, $15.99 plus tax. Olympic hoodie too. So Let's head into Starbucks here and see which Starbucks mugs they have here in downtown. It looks like they've got Calgary and Canada. So they didn't have the Banff mug in there, so if they don't have them there, head on up to the Starbucks at the gondola and you should be able to get them there, hopefully. And prices look like they were back to normal. Starbucks prices in that Starbucks as well. Buffalo and caribou served. The staff at Heli Henson were super helpful in providing inside information about Banff, but make sure to stop in here and meet Ponyo, the Heli Henson dog. Hi. You have some treats? treats. You want to show them your tricks? You want to go, girl? Go sit. Sit down. Sit. Go. High five. Up up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Treat. Good girl. You want to do a 360? <laughs> Give me a kiss. Uh. <laughs> it's time to get ourselves a treat. Let's head into Beaver Tails. They range in price from about six twenty-five to eight fifty each. I've been really looking forward to getting some Beaver Tails. When I was a kid, my parents would buy them for me. So it's been many, many years. So I went with the Avalanche. So did Ken, actually. It's got score and caramel and says cheesecake, so. It looks really good. I think this might be one of the best desserts I've ever had in my life. If you're here in Banff, go get a score, cheesecake, Avalanche, beaver tail. You will not be disappointed. All right, we're done with downtown Banff. We ate too much food. Those beaver tails were excellent. But we're gonna head out to, what's it called, Lower Bankhead, Andrea? Yes. Um, so in Helly Henson, they told us that's the place to go. It's like an old abandoned city. And we're gonna go check that out. He said he's seen lots of bears out that way as well. So maybe we'll find something, keep our fingers crossed, at Lower Bankhead. It's on the other side of the Trans Canada Highway. Right by Lake. Minnewonka. Minnewonka. <laughs> it sounds like Lake Minnewonpack or something from The Office. I do love The Office. Um, so we're gonna go check that out. So we just finished filming that last segment and lo and behold, I think this is a caribou or something right there. Maybe it's an elk. I'm not sure. We made it to Lower Bankhead. It was actually really close. And there's a whole bunch of information here you can read about. But down there in the valley is the ruins of some cities. So let's go down there and check it out. So it's not very far down the hill before you start to run into some of the buildings. You can go inside them, check them out. It's pretty cool down here. Now down here, you're also gonna see the first one is the lamp house building. And this is where the miners would get a lamp before their shift and they had to turn it back in at the end of the shift so they knew if anyone was missing. There, there. It looks like coal. Oh, this black. Black, black, black. Yeah, yeah. Oh, another foundation. So this mine, there must've been a lot of buildings here. This one's a deep foundation, cool. Trees are all in there. The Burkett town. You can see there was actually quite a few buildings here back in the day when this was a coal mine. Ooh, there's lots of bugs out here. 
public service announcement. I should have brought the bug spray, but I left it in the car. Do you want to run up there all alone where the bears are? Nope, nope, nope. You get it? Nope, nope. You'd rather get bit by a horse fly than a bear. Yes, it's a redo. Cool, a little mining train down here. Oh, check out this locomotive. Oh, that's cool. Hey, that looks like uh, C-3PO in Star Wars. So if you are coming here to Banff, it's called the Bankhead ghost town here in Lower Bankhead. So um, if you ask about that, you should be able to find it. It's right on the way to the lake. Um, I want to say Minnewaka. Mon Minnewaka, not Monomaka. And look who we ran into. It's Mr. Fox. We didn't see any bears, but we did get lucky and see a fox. So continuing on to Lake Minnewanka, this is a nice loop that you can drive. There's also transit that you can take. It is gorgeous. I would recommend if you're coming for the day to bring a lawn chair and some lunch so you can enjoy the view. There's also a lake cruise that you can book and do. Yeah, it's pretty beautiful out here. Gorgeous views of the mountains. So we're gonna go find the best lookout of Banff that you don't need to go up a gondola to see. It's up Mount Norquay. Apparently there's an amazing lookout up there. So we're gonna go check that out. The road to the lookout is pretty windy. It's about six and a half kilometers, maybe 10 to 15 minutes from downtown Banff up here. You're gonna find some spectacular views. And if you're lucky, you might even see some more sheep up here like we did. All right, so we made it to the Mount Norquay lookout. Let's go see what the views look like. Here's the little guy making all those chirping noises. We're taking a quick drive the rest of the way up to Mount Norquay to see if we see any more sheep, and then we'll head on to the cave and basin. And lo and behold, there's a couple more sheep here on the road right up the hill. Hey, fellas. So we are at the cave and basin and we are gonna go check out the boardwalk. So this area is free to get into. Um, the main area is closed right now, but we're gonna check out the boardwalk here. You can see it goes down like this. It's pretty cool here. This is a gorgeous nature walk with stairs that take you all the way down to the marsh. The area is set up for bird watching. However, I am on the lookout for a moose. It's a moose that I really, really, really am hoping to see. The one downtown we saw today wasn't good enough for you? No, I'm looking for the real thing. The real thing. It does look like moose country. They have this cool place where you can take pictures out the little windows. The other thing we wanted to show you, we're not gonna stop here, but it's the Fairmont Banff Springs. We're on our way to the Bow River Falls and it's right by there. But this is a gorgeous hotel, the Fairmont Banff Springs. I would love to stay here one day, Andrea. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful, looks amazing. And to have like one of the rooms that looks over the Bow River would be splendid. Yeah, it would be awesome. Gorgeous, historic looking hotel. Now the Bow River Falls is actually located right behind the Fairmont Banff Springs. So you come down the winding road and you will find the Bow River Falls here. You can do some whitewater rafting right there off to the right hand side. And there's the falls itself right over here on the left. Andrea, we're earning dinner. We're at 19,000 steps, so. Oh, and a lot of that's been hiking uphill all day. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired.
So if you're trying to find the Bow River Waterfall, it's behind the Fairmont. You'll see that behind me here. Um, so the Bow River Waterfall is behind the Fairmont. You'll have to wind your way around. You can find it on Google Maps. It's time for dinner. I think we're gonna head to Chili's. It's right here and we're hungry. All right, so we just got back to our hotel room from Chili's. It was really good. I love Chili's. I didn't have the Bloomin' Onion, Michael Scott, but I did have a burger with an onion ring in it and bacon and all sorts of cool stuff. French fries, we had the chips and salsa. What did you have? Uh, some chicken sandwich. Some chicken sandwich? I don't remember. It looked really good. There was like bacon and sauteed onions. And it was really good, yeah, that's true. I'll put a picture of it up right now so you can see what it looked like. Very delicious at Chili's. And again, we don't have Chili's in BC. This is our closest Chili's unless we go to Idaho. So it's this always nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so it was a really good dinner. Again, we're stuffed. We'd like to show you our Starbucks mug, our proud, new, we're new. proud new owners of a Starbucks mug, the Banff Starbucks mug. And now I even know where the Bow River is. Yeah, so we went there. Um, what's the price on the bottom? What was that? $18.69. $18.69 for a Starbucks mug. Probably the most expensive Starbucks mug we've actually ever bought. Yep. And we have probably close to 100 Starbucks mugs. The only Starbucks mug that I can think of that was more than that, and we actually didn't buy it, was I believe in the Bahamas, it was mm -hmm. super expensive. I think it was like, I wanna say over $25. Um, I think it was 22 US. So yeah, it so it would have been um, closer to 25 to 30 Canadian. So we don't have that one. Now I kinda wish we did have that one, but it was very expensive. I have a picture of it. <laughs> anyway, uh, we had a great day here in Banff. What are we doing tomorrow, Andrea? Uh, well, I've got the map out and trying to decide, but I think we're gonna try to get to the Johnston, uh, is it Johnston Canyon Trail? Yeah, and I think, I think there's a waterfall there too. Yes, um, there is. The walkway kind of sticks out from the side of the mountain. You might've seen pictures of that. It's yeah. kind of halfway between here and Lake Louise. Lake Louise. Yeah. So we're gonna go hike that, and then we're gonna go to Lake Louise after. So I know we went to Moraine Lake in that area a couple days back, or yesterday, um, but now we're gonna go do Lake Louise. Hopefully we can get parking mm -hmm. up there, otherwise we'll have to take the bus. So that's what we are doing tomorrow. Do you have any final thoughts on today? No, the only thing is I'm exhausted. We are like over 20,000 steps. Here, look. Almost 21,000 steps. So <laughs> we did a lot of walking today. We also yeah. ate a lot of food, so those Shh. score. <laughs> I guess we tails. showed you that all. <laughs> yeah, that was really good. So we're gonna hit the hay and we will see you tomorrow. Make sure to like this video and subscribe here on YouTube to Northern Viking Explorer. And we will see you tomorrow for day three of our, I don't even know what this is called, Banff, Golden, Rocky Mountain, Lake Louise vlog series. Have a good night. <laughs>